Welcome to Cross Sports Network MSFA Week 6 Rankings. Number 9, the Tennessee Rampage. The Rampage have recently folded after an 0-2 start and currently sit at 0-4. Number 8, the Northern Kentucky Colts. The Colts sit at 0-4. They have made some improvements this season. They went from losing every game by 60 to losing every game by 30. They have lost some of their players to surrounding teams and injury. It looks like a lack of depth and a lack of playmakers lead for a long season. Number 7, the Clarksville Wolfpack. The Wolfpack currently sit at 1-3. They did have a loss given to them by forfeit against the Calvary due to not having refs. They have a very stout defense, but questionable offense. Number six, the Tennessee Fury. The Tennessee Fury currently sit at two and two. They have a strong running game, questionable quarterback play, and questionable defense as they've given up quite a few points throughout the season. At number five is the Kentuckiana Calvary, sitting at three and two. They are the biggest jumpers of the week. They surprised a lot of people with their close loss to the Kentucky Spartans. They have a very strong run game, whether it be their mobile quarterback or a, a quick, shifty little running back. There's a lot of questions coming from that passing game, but they do have a young and aggressive defense, and they also get the benefit of playing the Northern Kentucky Colts three times this season as they begin a playoff push. Number four, the Clarksville Airborne. The Airborne are a young, talented team. They have a lot of playmakers on offense and defense. Once again, just some questions when it comes to the quarterback. Will they have number zero? Will he be able to come in and make some plays and turn this around? They are my favorite to win the South. I still just have a lot of questions about them getting over some of the top tier teams. Number three, the Kentucky Spartans. It's currently set at three and one. The Spartans had a close win against the Kentucky and a Calvary. They continue to struggle without their starting quarterback, Evan Harvey, who makes so many different plays, uh, relying on the playmaker of their backup quarterback and their main receiver and main offensive threat, Terrence Brooks. Uh, the coaching staff were able to get their defense and overall team together and pull out a win. Uh, as of right now, they're still going to set this three. Uh, if they want to compete for a championship, they're really going to need Evan to come back. Number two, the Tri-State Titans. The Titans moved up to number two after beating the Kentucky Spartans. A young team seemed to be growing together. They state that they have some offense coming. I know they got a strong running game. I'm still wanting to see some consistency from that passing game. And they do have a very aggressive defense. They currently sit at four and one. And the number one team, for back-to-back -back weeks is the River City Hurricanes. Hurricanes currently sit at 4-0, coming off a solid win against the Northern Kentucky Colts. They have one of the top defenses in the league, a very strong running game, and they just added to their quarterback depth with Michael Thomas. If they can get that quarterback play figured out, they would be the favorite to win the MSFA. And that is your rankings for week six of the MSFA.